What is up, my YouTube fam? What is up, my YouTube fam? What is up, guys? It is your girl, All Things Nella. I am back with another video for Vlogmas. All right. So I bet you're wondering, girl, why are you like <laughs> all glam, glam, glammed up? And the answer is, is that I um, am performing in a uh, holiday um, kind of like showcase, which you guys who've been watching my vlogs up until this point, you already know this. <laughs> so I figured, hey, girl, you're already dressed up. You might as well go ahead and film a video. Why not? <laughs> You're already um, dressed up and everything. So that is what I am doing. This is why, you know, I'm already all dressed up. But anyways, this video um, is about my top five Netflix romantic Christmas movies one thing y'all have to know about your girl nella is that i absolutely love 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 watching like romantic movies especially ones that are around christmas time oh my god so i chose five i have a lot of them that i love but i narrowed it down to like five and i have my list here so that i can you know stay on track and so that this video isn't like i don't know 35 minutes long fooling around with me but um they're not in any particular order because i really enjoy <laughs> like all of them like legit okay so i'm just gonna start with number one the number one is this night the night before christmas starring vanessa vanessa hudgens and josh i think is um white house okay so basically i want to give y'all the whole movie um because that would suck if i'm like spoiler alert but basically she is um a person that is living in our time and he is from like the 16th century and he's a, a knight in England, I believe it was. So he meets this, what he refers to as an old crone. And back then those were considered wise women, okay? So basically she sends him to our time, right? Dude has never seen like a TV, the most hilarious, Part, well, one of the most hilarious parts was when he's talking to Alexa. <laughs> oh my God, it's so funny, whatever. So imagine taking someone that's never even seen a car before and then just kind of throwing them into this new strange world, okay? So obviously she's the damsel in distress. You know, she's had her heart broken. And then here comes literally this knight in shining armor. And of course, you know, they fall in love. I don't want to give too much of it because I want you guys to really go and watch it. It is such a good movie. If you are a like romance person at heart and you love that kind of stuff, I am positive that you will love The Night Before Christmas. And that is K-N-I-G-H-T. Well, you guys will know that because I'm going to put the, the picture of the um, movie right here somewhere all right so number two again in no particular order is the holiday calendar now i have seen this movie so many times um it stars cat graham and quincy brown so basically this movie in a nutshell is pretty much about a friendship that turns in to more than just a friendship, right? So they've been friends forever and ever and ever in the day. Um, he goes his own way to live his life. She goes her way to live her life, but they always kept in contact with each other. They're like best friends, okay? So 
eventually again without giving away the entire movie she has this um holiday or advent calendar that um was from her deceased grandmother and pretty much everything that happens that well that she finds within that calendar on each day comes to pass in some kind of way all right so even with that you know people are, <laughs> that she tells like really are you serious right now like come on girl the calendar really isn't doing that long story short her and the best friend they fall in love like it's a given so i don't feel like i'm giving y'all spoiler alerts really because i really think that it's like Duh, they're gonna end up together. But again, if you are a sucker for romantic movies, that's one, that's one for you that you really should watch. I think that you'll really enjoy it. I think you will, especially people who are into um, photography because in this movie, um, she is a photographer, so is he. He travels around doing photography and things like that. So I think that you will really, really, really enjoy that movie. All right, so moving on to number three, which I wrote, Holiday in the Wild. Now, again, I wanna give you like a little synopsis. Now, this is starting, starring um, Kristen Davis and Rob Lowe. So Kristen Davis's character has been married for what 20 years and then right on the day that her son, her their only child, finally turns 18 and is moving out to go to college, Hubby's is like, look, I don't want to do this anymore, but she had already planned a trip for them to Africa for their like 20th wedding anniversary. It was insane. So instead of staying in New York, which is where I think they were in New York, um, she decides to go ahead and go on this trip to Africa without him. <laughs> But um, once she gets there, you know, she goes on this safari, she meets this whew, totally hot, fine, just ugh, beautiful man, okay, honey? And um, he takes her on like this helicopter ride. They find this elephant that is hurting or whatever. They take the elephant back to um, I guess it's like this orphanage that they have for elephants. And um, they basically, instead of her coming back to New York when she's supposed to, she stays um, extra time and stays at this um, orphanage camp to help take care of these elephants. And then of course, uh, Rob Lowe's character ends up falling in love with her. She falls in love with him. And then they live happily ever after everything that you want in a romance movie. Oh my God. <laughs> so I really, really love that movie. And it's like, it's one of those things where she got her heart broken and she gave all of herself to someone for 20 years and you just want, it's like you you want this character to have a happy ending. You want it to happen for them so, 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 so bad. So it did. <laughs> so I'm, I was excited about that. I think that, again, if you love romance movies, if you love the underdog coming from down under and emerging to the top, darling. You love this movie. All right, so that was um, number three. Moving on to number four, Holiday Rush, okay? Now, this one is a little bit of a tearjerker. It's um, starring Romney uh, Malco, and let's see if I'm saying this right. I hope I'm saying her name right. And, if I'm not, I'm sorry, but her name is Sonequa Martin Green, okay? So basically, Rush is this very popular, very charismatic um, 
disc jockey on the radio station and he is very popular. Basically, um, his job was snatched up from under him because the company was sold to someone else. Um, he has one, two, three, four children that are very spoiled and they live a very rich, rich life, right? Um, his wife had passed away um, some years prior to where we see his life at um, from cancer, which is played by, I believe that was Lala Anthony. Yeah. And um, so where the story starts at is him and his, like, um, I want to say it's like his, his PR person. She keeps him in check and makes sure that he's doing what he needs to do on the radio and all this different kind of things like that. So you would never think that those two would get together or anything like that, right? But she's been there with him since day one, since um, the wife passed away and like um, helping out with the kids. She's like just a really good friend that's a part of the family. So basically, without giving the whole story away, which I kind of feel like I already did, no, because there's a lot within that that you, you'll see if you just go and watch Holiday Rush, but they do end up falling in love in the way that he proposes. Oh my God, melt my heart. Uh, you guys will absolutely, I'm telling you, love it seriously so check that out on netflix it is holiday rush okay um and the last which i feel like is one of my absolute favorites like i should have said it first because seriously i love this movie because there's a lot of singing and dancing in it and you guys I'm just coming home from a performance. <laughs> so I, oh my God, I love, love, love this movie. But anyways, um, it's basically a Cinderella story. You know, it's like that whole concept. Um, so it's called A Cinderella Story, Christmas Wish. All right. This one is starring Laura uh, Morano, which you may remember her if you depending on how old you are if you had kids that used to watch this show on disney but a few years ago they had a show on disney about teenagers um austin and Allie. so laura moreno or marino i hope i'm saying her name right played Allie on the show austin and Allie on the disney channel so that's who that is but anyways um just like in the regular Cinderella story, you know, her father died and left the stepmother everything. She has two stepsisters who are horrible to her, including the stepmother. And um, she works at this place called Santa Land, where they sing, dance, and act, honey. And let me tell you, I get my whole life together because I love me a good musical. You guys already know that I love to sing. Oh my gosh. So um, anyways, the son of the guy that is like a, a billionaire starts working at the Santa Land as well because he loves music too. She doesn't know who he is because one of the rules is that you never take off your costume when you're in Santa Land, this place that they worked at. So long story short, the, oh God, I, of course you're gonna know that there's a ball. Of course they perform at the ball and she steals the heart of everyone there. I'm not gonna tell you much more because I want you guys to go and watch it. But um, the dad and uh, the dad of the um, boy that starts working at Santa Land and then uh, Laura Moreno's character's dad, which is deceased, um, they were best friends. And he hadn't seen her since she was a little girl, right? So it was just all by chance. And what a coincidence that she pretty much fell back into his life again 
And um, so, of course, Deirdre, the evil stepmother, is like, um, I'm sorry, but there's just taking care of everything. There's no money left for you for anything, for college, for nothing. And the billionaire comes in and saves the day. And of course she gets the guy. That is the best part about it. Like, oh my God, oh my God. <laughs> I love it. I love it, I love it. I just, I love it. I love it so much. So anyways, um, that was just a quick little synopsis. Like a whole lot more happens within that story, but I want you guys to go and watch it. So I'm trying not to, to tell it all. But anyways, I hope that this helped you guys, if you're a Netflix junkie like me, to find some really nice romantic Christmas movies, if that's what you're into. Um, I hope I have shed some light upon all of this for you um, so that you guys will know what you need to go and watch. Again, that's The Night Before Christmas, The Holiday Calendar, Holiday in the Wild, Holiday Rush, and A Cinderella Story Christmas Wish. All right, guys, so that is all for today's Vlogmas, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Deuces.